you. I find it absolutely astonishing at what people are saying. And uh, also in that clip, you said there's over 200 scientific facts that have been discovered about how God created and designed the universe in just such a way that life could exist on Earth. But since that time, from what I understand, you and the scientists have found a lot more design characteristics. How many have you found since that time? Well, it's, the list is now over 800 different characteristics of the galaxy and the solar system, the Earth that must be fine-tuned to make human life possible or the equivalent here on planet Earth or anywhere in the universe. Give me an example of design well, for example, about. our Milky Way galaxy must have very symmetrical spiral arms. It's necessary that the solar system be orbiting around the center of the galaxy just inside what's called a co-rotation distance. So it tells us there's only one fine-tuned location within the galaxy where intelligent life would be possible. All right, let's give them an example from your movie, and this is absolutely fantastic, okay? You say that there are 10 billion trillion stars that are out there in the universe and you scientists are saying they're all necessary for plant and animal and human life to exist on earth once God supernaturally creates it and puts it here we needed all of those stars for some reasons all right right watch this folks this will tell you what we're talking about millions of galaxy clusters fill the universe each containing thousands of galaxies adding up to 10 billion trillion stars. That's 10 with 21 zeros after it. To try to get a handle on this colossal number, consider this. If 10 billion trillion dimes were stacked on top of each other, the line of dimes would make 125 trips to Alpha Centauri and back. As vast and innumerable as all these galaxies and stars may seem, and as tiny and insignificant as they make us feel, this enormity is essential to life's existence. In order for the universe to sustain even one life support planet, each one of these 10 billion trillion stars is a necessity. If the number of stars in the observable universe were any greater or any fewer, life would be impossible. If there were fewer stars in the observable cosmos, nuclear fusion would be so inefficient that the only elements to form would be hydrogen and helium. With more stars in the universe, all the elements would be heavier than iron. No carbon, no nitrogen, no oxygen. Only in a cosmos with a finely tuned mass of ours can the life essential elements be produced. So as it turns out, the vast reaches of the cosmos are not a big waste of space, energy, matter, and time.